Are there many things better than watching a heist movie that delivers with an incredible ending or twist? You never know if the bad guys are going to get away with the loot, or if they will be spending a good amount of their lives behind bars. Hell, even I find myself rooting for the bad guys or the thieves in a number of these movies based on charisma alone. This list here is going to be 11 awesome bank heist robbery movies that I recommend for others to watch if they like the genre. There will be no spoilers in this video so you do not have to worry about the endings being ruined and finding out if they get away or not. With that being said, here we go. Number 11. Logan Lucky. 2017. Jimmy Logan has just been fired from his job and is in desperate need of cash to support his family so he decides to convince his brother Clyde and sister Melly to pull one of the biggest heists in the state of North Carolina. The target is the Charlotte Motor Speedway and they are going to do the heist while there is a NASCAR race going on at the same time. The only thing they are missing for their diabolical plan is a safe cracker so in order to get the last member of the team they have to break an old friend out of prison that is an expert in safe cracking and return him to prison before anyone can ever find out he left. Jimmy knows the plan is a long shot, but he is putting all of his chips in for this heist and looking to come out rich. But can he do it with the infamous Logan family curse lurking behind him? Number 10. The Town. 2010. Ben Affleck stars as Doug McRae who is a known bank robber from the poor area of Boston known as Charlestown. Doug and his best friend, Jim, have a robbery crew and they have one last heist that they want to complete that should set them up for life and never have to rob anyone or a bank again. To do this though, Doug has to kidnap the bank manager to ensure his safe escape, but he also didn't plan on falling in love with her either. Doug must now know the integrity of the mission may be at risk and Jim isn't too happy to hear about the love affair either. Doug wants to continue the heist as they had planned, but then the FBI shows up into town knowing who Doug is and the FBI uses Claire to their advantage to get close to Doug. Will Doug and his crew escape alive with the cash or will they end up dead or arrested? Number 9. Hell or High Water 2016. Toby is a father who recently was left by his wife, and he wants to make a better life for him and his son now that it is just them. His brother, Tanner, is an ex-convict with a short temper and has a loose trigger finger that he cannot control at times. Together, Toby and Tanner plan an elaborate series of heists against the bank that is planning to foreclose on their family ranch and leave them without anything. Unexpectedly, the brothers are tracked down by an uncompromising Texas Ranger and his faithful deputy and will be waiting for them at any little mistake they make that can take the Howard brothers down. The two pairs of enemies will soon find themselves in a head-to-head -head showdown, and neither will be going down easily. Number 8. Den of Thieves. 2018. In Los Angeles, California, a team of robbers led by Ray Merriman make a violent armed attack and hijack an armored truck. Law enforcement arrives on the scene and engages in a shootout with the robbers. Eventually, Merriman and his crew escape with the empty armored truck. In the morning, Detective Nick O'Brien played by fan favorite, Gerard Butler, investigates the crime scene, having been monitoring Merriman and his crew for a while. Suspecting a local bartender named Donnie for involvement Nick finds him at the bar and kidnaps him for interrogation. Donnie reveals Merriman is planning to rob the Federal Reserve of California later that week by stealthy removing about $30 million in old bills which are scheduled to be shredded after their serial numbers are deleted from computer records. Will Merriman and his crew get out with the invisible cash? Number 7. Heat. 1995. A lot of people view Den of Thieves as a heat knockoff and it is definitely a fair take as the storyline is pretty similar, but Heat does it in just a little better way. Also in Los Angeles, California, a gang of armed thieves is hitting serious targets around the city such as major high-profile banks, vaults and armored cars and they are led by criminal mastermind Neil McCauley who is played brilliantly by Robert De Niro. One of their operations goes poorly and one of the guards for an armored truck is shot dead which forces the LAPD to put their best detective Vince Hanna on the case and track down Neil and his crew. Vince and Neil go head to head like it's a high profile heavyweight fight and the only way this one will end is bloodshed and someone coming out on top. Number 6. The Italian Job. 2003. Led by John Bridger and Charlie Croker a team is assembled for one last heist to steal 35 million in gold bars from a heavily guarded safe in Venice, Italy. After successfully pulling off the heist, a team member, Steve driven by greed and jealousy, arranges to take the gold for himself and eliminate the remaining members of the group. Thinking the team is dead, he returns to Los Angeles with the gold. Charlie and the survivors of this betrayal follow Steve to Los Angeles to exact revenge against the traitor. Charlie enlists the help of Bridger's daughter, Stella, a professional safe cracker to get revenge. With Stella and the hacking skills of Lyle, the explosive skills of Left Ear, and the driving skills of Handsome Rob, 
This new team plans and executes a daring heist that weaves through the freeways and subways of Los Angeles, but can they come out successful? Number 5. Man on a Ledge. 2012. Ex-cop, Nick Cassidy, was accused of stealing a precious diamond 24 months ago. Now that he has escaped from confinement, he finally has the chance to prove that he is innocent to the world and the man that put him there. To accomplish this, he stalls for time as he stands on a New York City building ledge, convincing everyone that he is about to jump and end it all. Next door, his brother, Joey Cassidy, and his brother's girlfriend, Angie, are attempting to steal the diamond that Nick was framed for stealing in the first place. But things spiral out of control as more people realize who Nick really is. And soon it is clear that Nick's safest option is to jump because not only the cops will be on their trail. Number 4. Inside Man. 2006. From a cell, a man tells the viewers he has planned the perfect bank robbery, and he invites everyone to watch. An efficient gang enters a Manhattan bank, locks the doors, and takes hostages. They work deliberately, without wasting any time to get to work. Detective Frazier, played by Denzel Washington, is assigned to negotiate, but half his mind is occupied with the corruption charges he is facing himself. The bank's president has something to protect in a safe deposit box, so he brings in Madeline White, a high-powered broker with a hidden agenda. With an army of police surrounding the bank, the thief, the cop, and the plutocrat's fixer enter high-stakes negotiations. Why are the robbers asking for a plane to attempt his escape, if they are so competent, and they know they won't get one? Why aren't they in more of a hurry to get out of the bank? If the job's perfect, why is the thieves' leader in a cell telling us about the perfect robbery? Only one way to find out. Number 3. Ocean's Eleven. 2001. Danny Ocean is a mastermind thief who has just been paroled from prison as he was spending time inside for robbery and extortion charges. He seeks out his partner, Rusty, and he has a job proposal for him, and it is to rob the vault that houses the cash of three casinos in Las Vegas. The casinos that he wants to rob are the Bellagio, the Mirage, and the MGM Grand who happen to be owned by one man, Terry Benedict, and he plans to rob it on a night when $150 million is in it while a prized fight is currently taking place. So they recruit nine guys and they begin to put Ocean's plan in motion. Everything is going well until Rusty discovers that Ocean's ex-wife, Tess is the main squeeze of Benedict now and Rusty starts to think that the plan may be at jeopardy, and he wants Danny to sit back. Rusty asks him what he is going to do if he has to choose between Tess and the job. But Ocean says that if his plan goes smoothly, he is going to be able to have his cake and eat it too. Will the plan go smoothly? Highly recommend to watch this one if you haven't seen it. You won't be disappointed. Number 2. Fast Five. 2011. Former agent Brian O'Connor and his girlfriend Mia Toretto rescue her brother Dominic Toretto during transportation to prison as he was falsely associated with the murder of multiple police officers, and they flee to Rio de Janeiro to get out of the country. They rob a car from custody and find that the powerful drug Lord Hernan Reyes has $100 million in a safe located inside the police station, protected by corrupt policemen of the city. Dominic invites his skilled crew that includes Dom, Brian, Mia, Roman, Tej, Han, Giselle, Leo and Santos to steal the dirty money and achieve their freedom by moving to a country without extradition to the USA and being filthy rich. Meanwhile the tough FBI special agent Luke Hobbs comes to Brazil with an elite task force to arrest Dominic and Brian and soon finds out what the crew is really planning on doing there. Number 1. 21. 2008. Another Las Vegas heist movie but this one is a bit of a different tone than Ocean's Eleven. While they are robbing casinos in 21, they are doing it by counting cards playing blackjack which casinos frown upon greatly. Ben Campbell is a young, intelligent student at MIT and wants to succeed at the highest level. Ben finds out that his student loans won't be able to cover the $300,000 a year that it would cost to finish school and get his degree. Not having any idea on how to come up with the money, he uses his intelligence and joins a group at school led by his math professor, Mickey Rosa and the group goes to Vegas every now and then on weekends to rob the casinos of all their money by counting cards as a team. The team uses Ben's knowledge and brain to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. But when Ben finally has enough to pay for school, Mickey doesn't want Ben to leave the group and he makes it known to him. Not only that, but he also has the casino security's attention now, and they aren't going to let the group's charade continue. What will the casino higher-ups do if, and when they catch Ben? That concludes this list. Are there any other heist movies that should be on the list? I would love to hear some so I can give them a watch. Thanks for watching.